And I realized just now that I've been giving you third grade questions. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel, amigos, it's Grant. And I'm Megan, and we're back with another video. If you haven't seen our last video, that's where we tried the MREs. Um, you have to see how it turned out, if we liked it, if we didn't. Yeah. We also had my brother try them too in the video. Yeah. And we're having my brother help us with today's video as well. So, before we get into the video, give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and follow the link toward the, oh man. Get us. Just look at our Instagram. Send them in the description below. Follow our Instagrams. They're gonna be linked in the description below. Today we're gonna make ourselves look completely dumb. On accident. I feel like it looks like I'm slouching. I need to sit on a post. I sit a little taller. Anyway, we're gonna make ourselves look completely dumb. And honestly, I'll probably look dumber than what he looks like because <clears> I, <throat> I haven't been in school in a while. And if it's history, I'm just gonna be done though. I'm not good at history either. I'm not good at anything, honestly. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> but anyway, we are going to test our knowledge and see if we're smarter than fifth grader. Mm -hmm. Trademark. I have not watched this show in a very long time. I've watched it like once. I don't really remember how it works. I was embarrassed, so I stopped watching. My brother is going to ask us questions. Mm -hmm. um, he's still single, by the way, guys. <clears throat> he's working over there. But we're going to write our answers down on the dry erase board. And we're going to see if they're right or not. Let's test our. No, 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 no. Are you ready, Pete? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, first question. The French and the Indian War, which began in 1754, oh my God. became the North American theater of what worldwide war that lasted from 1756 to 1763? Oh my God, I'm so stupid. Worldwide War? Is that what you said? Yeah. Idea. I got my Ready? answer, yeah. Three, two, one. We're both stupid. What, what is it? It's the Seven Years' War. I would never See, I that. remember hearing about that. Totally forgot about it. I don't I'm even know what that's about. I'm glad we put the same answer, though. It makes me feel a little bit better I knew mine was myself. wrong, though. I knew, I knew was it was wrong. wrong. I didn't know what else to put. Question number dose. This is hard. Okay. The region known as the Fertile Crescent is located in the present day what? Mm. I can't think of the term. Mm. There's a certain term? This is either correct or terrible. Okay. I didn't put a region, but three, What's two, one. Nope. What's Middle? the answer? Middle East. Let's get out of these stupid history questions. <laughs> Middle East? Mm -hmm. Wow, I put Central America. You said Rome. Crescent, and I thought of the part where it goes from um, Mexico down to South America, that little crescent looking. I'm still an idiot. Let's just do the history because it's probably funny to everybody else how bad we are. True, actually. true. Hope you guys get any laugh out of this. All right, uh, what was the name of the last queen of France? <laughs> okay, three, two, one. I was gonna put that, but I picked a random name instead. I was gonna put Queen Olsen, and I don't know why. So I put Olsen, O L S N S E N. So who was it? Uh, Marie Antoinette. I, that the name familiar. sounds familiar. Yeah, it's funny how it sounds familiar after we uh, get it wrong. <laughs> yeah, we're dumb. We've gotten all of these wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Next. In which decade did Hong Kong revert from British rule? <laughs> Hong Kong. I don't know the history what of my decade? own country. Yeah, I don't even know my own country's history, which is sad. I probably didn't mess this up. And I'll just say it's not as far back as you guys probably think it is. Well, that completely ruins my answer. I'm just gonna stay with mine because I think mine's not too far back. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. 1800 to 1810? Megan's closer. What is it? Really? 
the 1990s, specifically 1997. Wow. See, this is why I don't like, they never taught me this in school. They never mentioned, yo, Hong Kong still being ruled by Britain up until the 1990s. That's crazy. That's I, only 30 years ago. I originally put 1880s. Well, I was like, yo, we left Britain in 17 and got the declaration. How do you remember this stuff? It's the only thing I know. I know nothing about history. Nothing. You don't know Declaration of Independence, 1776. I know that. That's I, what I'm saying. That's I was like, okay, I'm guessing they left after us because we're kind of leaders. I'm not a very good critical thinker, though. She's critically uncritical. Is this our last history one? Last history one. Okay, thank, thank gosh. God. Thank we're still going to get the next ones wrong. doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> The modern day city of Istanbul was known by what name in the 13th century? I've heard of this before. I don't, I have no idea now though. I almost want to say Guatemala, but that's completely wrong. That's in the Middle East, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I'm just a question guy. Istanbul, that, that name sounds familiar. In the 13th century? What is he making? I don't know. 13th century means it was the 1400s. Okay. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Spain. I did Bolistan. What is that? That's it's, not bad. Istanbul? Bolistan? Yeah. Istan, but I, it's Istanbul. I know. What is Bolistan? She made Istanbul it Istanbul backwards. Like Bolistan is Listen Bol. Okay. What was the actual answer? Constantinople. I did, I I've heard that, of that. I know that yeah. Word, yeah. We'll start with English and literature. Oh boy. This seems like it'd be any better. Grant's grammar, oof. It's bad. His spelling, how do you spell session? S-E-S-S-I-O-N. Hmm. How do you normally spell it? I normally spell it for like three different ways. He, last time I saw him spell it, it was C-E-S-S-I-O-N. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I can't spell it. Pete's looking at you like you're an idiot. I'm not, no, there's so many S's, it confuses me. S-E-S-S-C-E-S, like concession. C-E-S-S, S-E-S-S, S-E-S-S. I don't even know what I'm saying. Let's get back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Who is the author of the 1960 novel about social and racial inequality to kill a mockingbird? Oh my! I read the book. I know what this is about. I read the book too. Oh, who the author is? <laughs> I don't know. I'm putting. <laughs> this is so funny. My answer is so dumb. Mine might be semi close. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Nope. No? What is it? Harper Lee. I, 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 I just put Sherlock Holmes. That's the first name that came to my you mind. keep drawing on me. Uh, the words the, and, and a. The, and? The, and, and a. I know, I already know what the question is. Are known as what in English grammar? I think I got this one. I don't know this one. I think this might be the first one I got. You pretty much just wrote down what I said. I know, because I was just, <laughs> like, making a note. I know this is the closest. This is close. Might not be right, but it's close. I'm just writing down a stupid answer. This is what I... The whole video is me writing down stupid answers. Ready? Three, two, one. Draw on me. Conjunction. What? They're known as articles. Okay. Anyway. What? I thought conjunctions was close. Honestly, I don't really care because I don't need to know this. When is someone is ever going to ask me that? Causes, though. Next subject is... Let's do something we can actually get. Geography? Uh, maybe, but let's try it. Start off with this one. What is the capital of New York? This has to be a true question. This marker is kind Dang of crappy. I just got marker on me. That actually works really well on your skin, the eraser. Yeah. Three, two, one. Nope. Is it Buffalo? Nope. Is it... Nope. What is it? Albany. Is the capital of New York? Okay, mm -hmm. well, we're what? dumb. <laughs> oh my god. I think every time I studied the US map, I thought it said New York City was the capital. Next question. How many Great Lakes are in the United States? Okay, I'm ready. Ready? Three, two, one. Nope. Four? Yeah. What? Holmes. Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, Erie, Superior. Michigan, Huron, Superior, Ontario. Michigan, Huron is one. It's not two, it's one name. At least that's how this is saying it is. Huh. 
saying Michigan, Huron, Superior, Ontario, and Erie. Well, at least we got... At least we knew what those... Yeah, at least we were. know what they're talking about. Anyway. I, th I feel like we should back check that later. Yeah, There's I think we need to look that up. The mountain range that includes Mount Everest is called... Can I ask one question? Mm. Mount Everest isn't in America, right? Right. Okay. It's in China. You said it's part of I think. A, a range of mountains? And I realized just now that I've been giving you third grade questions. These aren't even fifth? <laughs> this last one I'm giving you is fifth grade. This is like 12th grade question. I was going to say the Fiji Mountains. You said it starts with an H though, so... <laughs> Maybe there will be some crossover here. You'll see what I'm saying in a minute. Ready? Three, two, one. Nope. Uh, what is it? The Himalayas. Oh, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> we're so dumb. I thought what? the Himalayas were in America. Because there's the Appalachian. They, they expand like a long ways. Oh, I didn't know that. Animals without backbones are known as... I'm gonna I'm gonna feel so dumb once you say this. I am too. Trust me. <laughs> Backbones. This Ready? is way wrong. Three, two, one. What'd you put? I put insects. What? What is it? You got it right. You put invertebrate, right? Oh! Woo! I finally no. got one. You wanna know the worst part about that? I thought of that word and I didn't know that's what they're called. Like I I thought in my head invertebrate, but I'm like that's not what they're called. That can't be it. <laughs> I literally thought that Luna. Because I knew Luna. the word vertebrae. Now is not the time. I knew vertebrae was in there. Okay, so we have one more science question. Dang it. Uh, the Earth is at least how many billion years old? I actually might know this one. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I have a possibility of picking out of a billion numbers. How many billion digits years is old. it? No, don't, you can't say that. Can't say that. I said it's billions of years old, so... How many billions? I literally have no... That's why you take a guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have this one in the bag. Three, I'm two... Gonna, I think I'm gonna be up by a few digits, I think. Three, two, one. Mine's gotta be close. I know it's close. Nope. But very off. Very? Mm -hmm. It's only four billion. Where did I get 416 from? I actually might know this one. Oh my God, I'm gonna have this one in the bag. As soon as he said that question, my brain said 416. I have no idea. Four billion? All right, uh, what are the three states of matter? Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, this is a first grade question, by the way. Technically there's four, isn't there? Yeah. Are you doing the fourth one to be smart? Yes. Three, two, one. Uh, yep, both right. Okay. And Grant's extra right because he got plasma. Ha. Huh. Trying to be all smart and stuff? No, I'm not, well, I am trying. I'm not succeeding. My father has seven daughters and a hundred dollars. If he wants to give each daughter an equal amount of money, rounding to the nearest dollar, how many, how much does each daughter get? Take a nap. Okay. My first answer was right, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at this. <laughs> I know. Ready? Oh my god. Three, two, one. Great, sorry. Uh, I was gonna do 14. Megan, 15 times 7 is more than 100. How can he give more than what he has? I know, but still, I didn't know. <laughs> I clearly. I didn't know if you could go over 100 at all, but I was gonna do 14 since it was less than. I'm just glad I still have my math skills. That will never leave me. That'll be the only thing I have. What I did, I did. I wrote 15 out seven times, and then added it up. I did 100 divided by seven, and then made sure seven times that number was less than 100. Okay. <laughs> next. <laughs> this next one's gonna be an equation. Oh, gosh. Oi. Okay. The number five. Okay, hold on. Let me write that down. Quick. I didn't know how to say this year. I don't remember how to say that stuff. Two times four divided by. Five oh, I didn't even see that. One. 
Okay. Well, uh, okay. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Why'd you do a lot of math? I didn't. Is it eight? Eight? Yeah, it's eight. Were you trying to confuse me? No, what you, math did you think I did? You kept like scribbling and stuff. I didn't touch anything. What is all that scribbling? That, that was from earlier when I was writing it. I felt like you kept writing stuff and made me like well, second guess wrong. myself. <laughs> it took me a minute to remember if, because I know something to the first power is one. So I was like, wait, or wait, no, something to the first power is itself. So I was like, some of the zero, is it zero or is it one? So, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, one. That, you say that to the zero power? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't remember. I, I think, I don't know. You collect 48 pieces of Halloween candy. Your parents say you can eat two pieces per day, plus one extra piece on Saturdays and Sundays. Hold on, two per day, plus one on Saturday and Sunday. How many weeks will it take to you, take you to, go to finish candy. all of your candy? How many weeks you said? Yep, how many weeks? <laughs> now you just the thing again, but you go like, Wing. Shut up. You are. <laughs> Should write down all the, all the days of the week and put. Stop, I can't count when you guys are talking. <laughs> I'm gonna answer a text here. Shut up. Three, two, mm -hmm. one. Three weeks. Yep. You're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, look what you did. She had all the tallies. Oh my god. Okay. Me and my leg. Turns out we're both idiots. We're definitely not smarter than a fifth grader, to say the least. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's the same thing every time. I didn't expect you to call on me like that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like and subscribe. And follow our Instagram, so they're gonna be linked in the description below. We'll see you guys in our next video.